Today we're looking at another projector, this time the V511 by Bigasuo. It's got native 1080p resolution, also supports 4K resolution, dual band Wi-Fi, so you got 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Also has 4P, 4D keystone correction, 420 ANSI brightness. It's got bi-directional Bluetooth technology, so you can use it normally for Bluetooth headphones or an external speaker, or you can actually play music through this projector just like you would with a Bluetooth speaker. You can even use a USB stick on this to do presentations, that kind of stuff. Got 10,000 to one contrast. This is also dust proof, uses a sealed optical engine. As you can see, pretty nice travel case here. Also has some pretty nice storage here on the outside. So inside the box, you've got a user manual, audio video cable, and cleaning cloth, power cable. Also includes the HDMI cable. Pretty compact remote control, about the same size as what I use for my Fire TV stick. Okay, nice fabric material here on the top. And you've got a lot of controls here on the top as well. You've also got the manual focus. Pretty cool idea here. They just got a slider that covers up the lens. So you don't have to worry about losing the lens cap. Remote control sensor there in the front as well. It looks like you've got your speaker on the side. Then you've got two HDMI ports here on the back, two USB ports, audio, video, and headphone jack. And then of course, where you plug in the power, you've also got your fan ventilation here on the back as well. You've got a mount here right in the center if you wanna put this on a ceiling. And of course, your adjustable foot there on the bottom as well. Overall, feels like really nice build quality. Now, once you hook up this projector, you're gonna notice it's actually pretty bright. And you could probably get away using this with all lights on, but it looks much better once you turn all the lights off. As you can see, it's a pretty simple home screen on here. You've got screen mirroring, where it walks you through the steps on how to do that after connecting to Wi-Fi. Then you've got source, which makes it easy to switch between devices. You'll also notice a file explorer section is on here as well. Then in the settings you've got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, image settings, and general settings. Once you're in image settings you can adjust brightness, projection mode, keystone, and digital zoom. You can also choose which direction you want the projector to face in projection mode. Here's a quick look at the keystone correction which can be adjusted by each side or by each corner which is going to make things a little bit easier to get it lined up just right. This one also has zoom settings to enlarge or shrink the screen area to your liking in general settings settings, you've got voice, time, setting, language, and input, input source, power mode, system update, reset, and about. You can also access some quick settings from the remote control, which shows up on the side of the screen, like picture, color temperature, sound, and then when you hit power, you can switch to the Bluetooth speaker mode, where you can use the projector similar to a Bluetooth speaker. Enter Bluetooth speaker mode. When hooking up my new iPad, everything seems to look pretty good on here as far as quality and text on here looks nice and sharp. They say you could use this one for presentations and I would have to agree, this one should work fairly well for stuff like that. You can also use this when playing mobile games through screen mirroring or through an HDMI adapter. And surprisingly, it actually looks really nice on here. Probably one of the better looking projectors I've tested recently as far as screen quality. I think you'll really notice it when watching movies or TV shows. So whether you're gonna use this in your game room or creating a home theater setup, I feel this projector has good value considering the price and seems like a step up from some of the budget projectors out there. I'd probably consider the quality of this one more in the mid-range category and is one you should definitely check out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.